Hello Miraculous, Bugs and Kitties, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this video. Today will be- WAIT! Where's Miracle Bugs been for these past two weeks? Where did she go? Was she kidnapped and enslaved? Did she die? Did she fall into a pit of depression because she's not popular on YouTube? <laughs> no. What happened was worse. It's called... Bandcamp. <laughs> So you might be wondering, if I knew I was going to have band camp, why did I say that I'd wax my legs if I didn't post for a single Friday? Well, I thought I'd have one pre-recorded and ready for the week of band camp, but I didn't. And so now your question probably is, why the heck did you miss two weeks? Well, the second week, I drove all the way the eight hours back up to where I am now. And then I took a day off and another day off, and then it was my birthday. And then I was really grumpy the day after my birthday. And then I took three more days off. So I think I deserve, you know, those days off, I don't know, even though I promised that I'd, though there will be a video of me maxing my legs, and because I just really hate myself, I've decided that in, on top of waxing my legs, I'm also going to be doing a bean boozled just every time I take a strip off, I have to eat some beans. And I hate bean boozled. I refuse to do it with my friends. Of course, I'm going to do that when I'm back in my hometown, when I have friends to force me into waxing my legs. Because mother of goodness, and lord and savior, everything out there. I won't do it myself. Okay, I'm a coward. Anyway, what are we doing for this video? Well, some things I've done over the summer. would be shop a lot. I've gone shopping a lot. So that's something I've done throughout the summer. And, well, one time while I was shopping, I went to Barnes & Noble, and I found something I found adorable and amazing, and I had to have it. And it was 35 bucks, but it, it was worth it. And with tax, it was basically 40 It was 40 bucks. I, I pay 40 bucks for a bowl of sushi that's plush. It's so cute. Okay, so I don't know the names of sushi, so I won't be able to tell you what kinds of sushi they are. But this one seems to be a kitty. Say a cat sushi, your kushi, 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 because I'm creative. <laughs> and this one seems to be a duck, and it's also sushi, so we're gonna call it douchey. It's got, no, you can't be kushi and douchey. Cat sushi. This is sashi. There's the A of the cat in there. Sashi and Douchey, and then this one is a bear and it's Douchey, so we're gonna have Douchey and Bushy. I think that's cute. <laughs> bear and a duck, so we've got Bushy, Douchey. This one is a dinosaur, and it's Sushi. Sushi Saurus. And this one is adorable because it just looks like normal sushi, and then. It's so cute! I can't handle it. I think it's supposed to be an octopus, but there's only two legs. We're just gonna call it Octosushi because I have no originality whatsoever. There. So now, you've clearly seen- oh, and then there's a bowl with the wasabi. It's just wasabi because wasabi in the bowl has decorations on it. Decoratations, yep. Because English works that way. So we've got sushi. And then we've got something else that I bought the other day when my grandma took me shopping for my birthday. We got something amazing in a candy store, and it's more sushi! <laughs> candy sushi! It's gummies that look like sushi. And... Oh, and they're they have what they're called on the back. This looks so nummy! I'm gonna eat this on this episode, this is what's happening here. I'm gonna eat some of that. And since it's gonna be like a tasting thing, of course I've got to have... ...something to cleanse my palate. They have brazzles, which we don't have. Okay, so here's a better view of all of the candy. <laughs> so childish. You guys should have seen me in the candy store. I literally made my grandma take a picture with me with a giant gummy bear. Actually, multiple pictures. So just here's a couple pictures of me with a giant gummy bear. Moving on. Just don't talk to me about that very low moment. Okay. Ah, it smells amazing. And this isn't even the side with the sushi. Just, just smell it. 
Just smell it. I enjoy it so much. It looks like this. It's got what looks like an orange version of a Swedish fish. I don't know. It turns white. So is it basically just a Haribo? I love Haribo. And then the other side looks a bit like an orange, but it's a marshmallow. It's very good. <laughs> kind of thankful that the marshmallow isn't the one flavored. The gummy is orange flavored, and the marshmallow I think is just marshmallow flavored, which is nice because I don't like flavored marshmallows. But it's actually not horrible having them together. <laughs> We're not supposed to finish it on camera, but it's really good. Stop shaming me. The other one looks exactly the same, so we'll be moving on to other things now. Now I guess we'll try one of the two candy California rolls, which are these two. I should go, I'm gonna go for the brown one first. And it's like, looks like the sour ca rope candy around a marshmallow of the same design as before, pretty much. Mm. My prediction was correct. <laughs> I think they're the same flavor. Better just cleanse my palate. Sponsor me. I guess next we'll try the candy uramaki, which is literally just like a green apple peach ring, it seems, with a gummy bear inside that's dual colored. But you know, we're gonna pretend it's exotic and I've never had it before just so I can eat candy for this video and pretend I'm making good content. It is a green apple ring with a gummy bear inside. I'm not sure what the flavor of the gummy bear is. It's just a gummy bear. That's all that matters. Next we have the two candy koi mochi which is this little thing of a rope thing, which looks really gross if it were sushi. And these little hmm, things that look suspiciously like fruit snacks. Do you see that? Ah. So first we'll try the little ropey one. If this is black licorice, I'll be really mad. I'll just take a string of it and bite. I think it's really subtly root beer flavor, just like the other brown one. All of the little gummy ones look like the grape shape of a gummy snack, but there's a darker one and a couple light pink red ones. So we're gonna... <laughs> Definitely a lot sweeter than a gummy snack, which makes me happy because the only good gummy snacks are the Scooby-Doo ones, and that is the truth. The two candy ikuras, which look like a sort of gumdrop covered in the little things that normally would be considered fish eggs, but obviously this is candy, so they're not. And it's squishy. Uh, squishy, squishy, squishy. I don't want to ruin it, but squishy, squishy, squishy. Ah! So it's basically an orange flavored gummy, and all the little balls on the outside are just hardened sugar. <laughs> I approve of all of this candy. It's super cute. 10 out of 10 for cuteness and 10 out of 10 for flavor. I'm not actually going to give this one specifically a 7 out of 10 because predictability. It's still nummy candy, but it was predictable in the flavor. And the rest were a bit of a surprise because like, the sun is like coming in and I'm a vampire, so naturally I'm trying to hide. Obviously, I'm tanner than I was last time you saw me. See, I'm so tan. But at band camp, I totally got the tan line. Anyway, next we have Frazzles, so I can live my 13 going on 30 dream. And the serving size is two pieces, but who cares about that? So we'll Ah. Oh, it actually smells really good. Oh, and it smells like, like gum. I didn't expect it to smell like gum. I expected it to smell like Skittles. And normally I don't like grapes, so we're going to try the grape one first. Because... This will be the lowest of my expectations. It's a lot more, like, chewy. It's... When you finally see it, it looks like it'd be super chalky. 
but it's chewier than it is chalky, and then it ends up tasting like this specifically grape flavored version of those pink rolls of gum that I can put in an insert stock photo here. This is so good. All of the flavors are good. I've only had grape and orange, but those are usually my least favorite flavors in candy. I know, some an American I am. I don't like grape and orange. I usually care for pink ones and blue ones and yellow ones. For anyone that likes to know my opinion. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day and go to Lolly and Pops and get yourself some good candy. <laughs>